Hey guys, Andy Hake with Insta Wise in Pittsburgh. What we're gonna show you today is how to encapsulate a duct system in your attic using spray foam. Now, before we did this, this duct had a, uh, some old fiberglass wrap on it. It was kind of cut up. It didn't look like it was doing a good job. The, the flex hoses in here were poorly insulated. They were poorly attached. They were leaking. So we changed those out. We've got another video for that. And when we took the old fiberglass duct wrap off, we found that there were borderline disconnections, just real bad, big leaks. Here I'm cutting to a video that I took earlier and I'm narrating over. On top of the duct in front of me is some of the original fiberglass duct insulation, as well as the cheap duct tape that was originally used to seal the leaks. Cloth duct tape should never be used to seal duct work. You can see how it peels right off and how using a smoke puffer with the furnace running, I'm able to demonstrate how bad the leaks were. The fiberglass duct insulation that was originally covering this trunk line can do an okay job, but not when there are massive leaks beneath it, which is nearly always the case. The way to do this right is to remove the fiberglass duct insulation, seal the bigger leaks with mastic tape, and then seal and insulate the entire duct and spray foam, which you'll see next. And we sealed up the bigger leaks in the top of the trunk line using really thick, heavy mastic tape, and then uh, push that stuff in. and. Then what we did is we put foam board, half inch board, on the underside of this trunk line. And the reason that we did that is because we weren't going to be able to spray foam the underside of this trunk and seal it and insulate it. So by blocking it off here on both sides of it, there's not going to be any way for this to leak air to the attic space whenever we're done. So uh, we're going to show you the result once this is sprayed. We've got. We finished spray foaming this and encapsulating this trunk line a couple of hours ago. The fumes dissipate quickly, especially when the house is under positive pressure from the blower door that we had. So now this duct system is insulated and sealed. It's insulated to about an R9 to R12. We do blew about an uh, inch and a half to two inches of closed cell foam on it. You never have to worry about leaks after this. If the attic gets really hot in the summer, that heat's not gonna penetrate through. Uh, at least very much in interact with the cold air coming through and vice versa in the winter time this system is going to lose very little heat to the outside while it's uh, pushing heat out to these flex hoses and down into the house so if you have a, uh, a duct system up in your attic and it looks kind of shabby with some old fiberglass on it this is really the right way to get it sealed and insulate it by encapsulating it with closed cell foam if you if you found the video helpful, please click the like and subscribe button. And if you live in the Pittsburgh area or like InsaWise to come out and help make your home more energy efficient and comfortable, look us up or give us a call at this number. Thank you for your time.